In a competitive hockey industry where expenses will continue to grow to cover staffing, recruitment, equipment, travel costs, and several other areas, it's very apparent that revenue growth in all areas must grow to keep up. The Broncos' three main areas of revenue are ticket sales, corporate sponsorship, and fundraising. While positive results have been achieved in corporate sponsorship and fundraising over the last several seasons, the most important area for the Broncos' long-term viability, ticket sales, has fallen at an alarming rate. The success of the organization lies in growth in all the mentioned areas, but can be more directly linked directly to ticket sales. Ultimately, the number of fans in the building will determine the long-term success of the franchise. Ticket sales dipped during the 2010-11 season, with the overall per-game attendance de decreasing from 2,195 to 2,137. The decrease marks the second consecutive season that the per-game attendance has decreased. Between ticket sales and uh, season ticket sales, sorry, and gate revenues, we reached a total of just over $692,000, which was a decrease of over $32,000 from the 2009-10 season, and was a $63,000 decrease from the 2008-09 season. The season ticket totals also dipped from 1,765 to 1,707. In terms of corporate sponsorship, the club generated net revenues of just under $268,000 through all of our sponsorship initiatives this season. Corporate sponsorships included board signs, ice logos, program advertising, as well as game night, season-long promotions. This year's revenues were within $1,000 of last year's totals. Fundraising has also become a major focus of the organization. In the first year of a long-term plan, fundraising was able to generate more than $192,000 in 2010-11, which was an increase of just over $28,000 when compared to the 2009-10 season. The private suites were once again our largest fundraiser, generating just under $122,000 during the season. Other notable fundraisers were the newly created professional bull riding event and the St. Patrick's Day Party, as well as regular events such as the Bronco Hall of Fame Banquet, the Wellington West Broncos Golf Classic, the Bronco Hockey School, and the Bronco Lottery Calendar Project. Considerable work goes on behind the scenes from the organizers of these events, and we'd like to pass along our thank you to all the people who helped with these events, and especially to Carol Beyer, who took over the role of fundraising coordinator during this past season. Our Broncos souvenir store numbers were steady this past year, with a slight decrease to just under $28,000. The souvenir store's numbers have historically been tied to attendance, so the small decrease is not very alarming based on the fewer people in the IPLEX this season. In terms of concession, after a tough season, in 2009-10, the Broncos brought in a new manager for the 2010-11 season. Under Joanne Dickey's management, the concession had a profit of just over $25,000 which was a significant increase of the $10,805 profit from the previous season. Several new food products and processes were brought in, and for most accounts, we were receiving a very positive light. 